Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new functionality of Microsoft Forms and Copilot. Up until now, it was available in Forms. So if I would go to a form, I would get a draft uh, Copilot. I could put some text. I could choose from the um, uh, prompts that are here. So if I choose one of them, uh, for instance, uh, this one, I would run it and I would get um, a draft um, form. And if I like it, I could actually generate the form. So uh, this is how it is. Now, now it's possible also in a quiz. So let's see how we do it. So it's still creating this um, example for the form. If we like it, we keep it. It will create here now the form and then I can adjust it as I want. Let's see how I create it for the quiz. So I'm in the home page of the forms. I'll choose quiz. Now I get also a draft. I can type anything I want. There's some prompts that I can choose. So let's look at them. Prepare exercise with correct answers. Student on the physical knowledge, including questions. So let's see what it prepares. Prepare exercise with correct answers to quiz my nine-year student physical knowledge, including questions covering American nation curriculum. Five questions will be multiple choice and five will be short answers and five of these require more than uh, computation. So let's click on the generate. Let's see how we can help the teachers to prepare um, quizzes. So um, here's the title uh, and you see here all of the possibilities all of the questions. We have some which are multiple choice, as we asked. Others are only uh, open text. And the rest, um, as you can see, um, <coughs> like we asked. So if we don't like it, we can uh, ask to generate it again. And if we like it, we can actually um, uh, asked to create the, the quiz and we can adjust the prompt. So uh, this is the first uh, example of the prompt and we can go and test the second uh, example of the prompt that is uh, written. Of course we can edit it at any time. Uh, what's interesting is that I didn't know that you could put a correct answer for a, a text uh, question. I thought it's only possible for uh, multiple choices. So almost done, pulling everything together. So we'll reach it and uh, hopefully we can... Ooh, how many questions? Quite a lot. So um, let's see the second uh, possibility. Still working on the questions. Wow, uh, it's working hard. So we can just keep it. And now it has created the quiz uh, form and we can adjust it as we want. We can also apply some um, uh, background and cover. So let's go and, and create another quiz with the second prompt. <clears throat> so I choose this. The second one is Draft up some English quiz with some correct answers. So it's for a seventh grade. Make 15 questions, including true or false, filling in blanks and questions and short questions. Of course, everything here can uh, be different. Let's say we will uh, make it for 12th grade students. And let's see that these questions will be much more harder. Finalizing the question and options. Uh, okay, which of the following synonyms for happy? Interesting. 
Uh, okay, so we're running and it's creating 15 questions as we asked. We, we want something different. Oh, it failed. Interesting. So let's just keep it as it was initially. Um, sometimes it happens, this bug. Uh, and here for the seventh grade, maybe it will be uh, better. Um, the V that you see here is probably the correct answer. So it's creating it. We like it. We can keep it. And in two seconds, it has been generated. Wow, that's cool. Last prompt that we can test. Let's go back and see. Uh, here we go. We'll click on the prompt. Example, we can, uh, of course, uh, uh, type it in. And the last one is a 10 question questions based on provided material below. So we can provide the, the material. Here is the example without that. So let's look at it, finalizing the questions. We're almost there. Boom, boom, boom. Here we are. It's an amazing tool. And um, if you can afford it, then try to have this um, Copilot license. So, what's the capital of France? Paris. What's the planet? In the red planet. Is it March? Yes. Okay, so it's creating 10 questions. And if in the prompt we would describe correctly what we want, it would generate the questions. Afterwards, we can always um, uh, adjust it, do whatever we want, and uh, that's it. So it's almost done, pulling everything together, and uh, we're still at the sixth question. We have uh, four questions left. Seventh, eight, nine, voila. We like it. We can do we can delete it, we can ask to generate something different. Let's generate it and look how easy it is for a teacher or anyone that you want to test their knowledge to do so. So this is the first overview of the new feature that is existing now for quizzes. Before we had Copilot only for forms, now it's available for quizzes. So. If you like my channel, subscribe and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.